Hi guys! So today we're going to be doing a painting of a ladybug kind of sitting and gazing at the stars and the sunset. It can be more of like a sunrise, I guess, if you want to look at it that way, but I just, I think it can be either one, given the very pretty colors. All right, so first, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our background, as we always do. So you're going to want to use your bigger brush for this. And we're going to start by putting some white down towards the bottom here, because we're going to want to start at the bottom. So we're just going to go back and forth. Same brush strokes, back and forth like this, with just a little bit of white here. And then we're going to go ahead and add yellow to it. Go back and forth and blend that white in with that yellow. You're going to get that nice little blend to it there. Go back and get a little more. And you can feel free to add some more white here too, because if that's too dark of a yellow for you, that's fine. Just add some more white. Like that. There you go. All right, and now at this point, I'm gonna add a little bit more white up to the top here. A little bit there. And I'm gonna add some blue. The top part, I had it very blue. You don't wanna blend this too much or else it might become like a greenish color. That's why I have the white in between to kind of separate them a little bit, which we'll work on blending that a little bit more here in a second. But you can go ahead, tap on your blue, go all the way to the top with this. Don't be afraid to go back and get more paint. It's better to have it too thick than too thin. This thick paint really helps to make sure you cover up all that canvas so you don't get weird splotches. Get that nice and full cool there. I'll rinse my brush out here a little bit. Get some more white on there. Just kind of blend it into that yellow very, very lightly. Like you said, you don't want to blend it too much. It will kind of turn into a little bit more of a green if you do, but just blend it enough that it's not a sharp yellow than blue, you know? So there you go, I have it. Blended pretty darn well there. Nice and blended. Sometimes I like to take a little bit of yellow and throw it up top here. Just a little bit. Kind of looks like yellow clouds hanging around the sky up there. All right. So now at this point, you're going to want to go ahead and let your painting dry. And we'll be right back then to go ahead and jump in on the grass. All right, so now that we let it dry, we're gonna go ahead and start it on our grass. So it's just gonna be real simple. You're just gonna do simple brush strokes using your green paint. So I already got a little bit of green paint on my brush. Again, feel free to go a little thicker. It doesn't have to be thin. It's better to do thicker than thin. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our first um, blade of grass that's going to have the ladybug on it. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's long enough that you can actually paint your ladybug on, you know? So we're gonna start from the bottom of the painting all the way down here. I'm going to go up with a brush stroke and make our blade of grass here. You can go over it a couple times if you want. Kind of go back and forth, get it to where you want it. I have a little bit of brown mixed in with mine too, kind of gives it a little bit of dimension. That's fine. Whatever you guys want to do. There you go. So now that you have the main blade of grass, you can go ahead and add other blades of grass as you see fit. So like just kind of do some upward strokes, starting from the bottom, working your way up. You're going to want to make sure you keep it pretty well one stroke because these are going to be thinner ones. Doesn't matter how they look, it's grass, you know. Grass is all going to look different. Make sure you go back for more paint periodically so you don't get too light of grass coming out here. All 
There you go. So you got your grass there. Now we're going to have to let that dry again before we start in on our ladybug. So we'll go ahead and let that dry. Alrighty, now that we have it dried, we're going to go ahead and start it on our ladybug. So the first thing you want to do is maybe make like a half circle here. This is going to be the outline of your ladybug. Just a half circle using a small brush with red paint. And at this point, what I did then is I rounded out the bottom so it actually looked like she was kind of sitting on the um, the blade of grass. So you want it kind of round because if you just do it flat, it's going to look a little bit more like 2D as opposed to 3D. So now you're going to want to fill that out. Fill it out with your red paint. There you go. All right, now at this point, we can go ahead and add our head to the ladybug. So you're going to take your black. Same brush, keep it small, so you can do finer work. I'm going to make a round head coming out of the top there. Fill that in with the black paint as well. There we go. So now you got your basic outline of your ladybug there. Now you can go ahead, you can either use a small brush like what I'm doing or you can use uh, a magic marker in order to do the fine lines for this because it can be a little difficult and that's fine. If you want to, go ahead and put in your antennas. Kind of do a little curl coming out. If you do decide to use your brush, you're just going to have to go slowly. That's fine. I got my two antennas on there. All right, so now while we're waiting for the rest of the ladybug to dry, we can go ahead and start in on our stars. So you can either use the back tip here of your paintbrush in order to make your stars, or you can just use a fine tip brush like what I have here. Dip it in your white paint. And you're just going to go ahead and dab it to create your stars. So you have your little stars there like that. Just kind of go all over. Make some bigger ones, some smaller ones. Whatever you want to do. And then I like to make like the little cross ones too. Like the ones that kind of look like, you know, like the Star of Bethlehem type ones. I'll make a couple of those on there. Kind of gives it almost like a twinkly type feeling too. So I have a couple of those I threw in there. There we go. Alright, and then for the last step you're going to want to add little black dots to your ladybug. So if you did a thin enough coat, you it'll probably be dry by now. But if not, you can go ahead and let it dry before this step, and I'm just going to go ahead and show it to you a while now. You're just going to go ahead, take your black paint, you're going to run a line from the head to the back. And then you're going to go ahead and take your black paint again and just add some black dots to the back of your ladybug. You can put as many or as few dots as you want. It doesn't really matter. It's completely up to you. I like to put a decent amount of dots online because what's a ladybug with just like maybe two dots? That's no fun. I like having a lot of dots online. There we go. So there you have it. You can always add a little bit more stars if you'd like. You can add, you can even add a second ladybug in there if you wanted. You can really do whatever you want with this painting. It's pretty simple. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hope you liked it.